In this video, I will show you that how you can create a subscription button for your product on your website using PayPal. So it will allow you to collect the amount that you have set up for your product uh, from your customers on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis depends on the time frame that you have set up. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. So first of all, what you need to do is you just need to log into your PayPal account and once you're logged in, you just need to click on this business tools right here. So just click on a business tools and you will land over here. As you can see that uh, in the recommended section, I have this subscription, but if you don't find it over here, you can just simply click on show all or what you can do is you can search right here subscriptions. So once you have the subscriptions, uh, you just need to click on that and over here you can see that here are all the features that you can do and uh, over here you just need to click on get started. So once you click on get started, it will load this page and over here you can see that I don't have any uh, subscription plan at the moment, uh, but if I want to create one, I will, what I will do, I will just simply click on create plan and this will load uh, this page for me and over here we just need to complete these three simple steps so the very first step is you just need to name your product over here let's say in my case I want to name it Vidaiko it depends it really depends on the product that you are selling and over here you just need to provide the description like what is your product uh, all about and over here you just need to provide the product ID and in case you don't have a product ID you can just simply check out over here that if you don't provide it uh, PayPal will automatically create it for you so after that you just need to uh, choose uh, what kind of product is that uh, for which you are trying to create a subscription button in my case it's a digital good so I will just simply click on that you can also choose physical goods or services so uh, now uh, you just need to choose the industry so it's related to online so I will just simply click on online and let's uh, choose the services over here although it's not the services but in my case let's I uh, choose the services right here and over here you just need to provide the URL of the page uh, as you can see that where will your customers find this subscription product on your page let's say it's a checkout page you just need to provide uh, that uh, page url right here and after that you need to provide the product image url so it shows the user that what the product is uh, looks like so after that uh, you just need to click on next and over here as you can see that uh, i now you know, need to choose the product that I want to go with I have just created this one so I will just click on that and click on create uh, next so over here you have four options uh, the very first one is the fixed pricing and you can see that it charge subscriber the same price each billing cycle based on the plan the subscriber chooses and you can go with the quantity uh, pricing volume pricing and tiered pricing you can read that and if you want to know more about that you can just simply hover over here and it will show you what that means so i want to charge the same price every month so i will just click on fixed pricing now click on next and over here you need to name uh, the plan of uh, your product so in my case let's say it's trial one so after that just click on next and this is the most important section where you need to uh, define the pricing for your subscribers so first of all you just need to select the currency in my case it's usd and i want to charge a one-time set of fees no i don't want to charge that offer a trial period if you want to offer a trial period and after that you want to charge them you can set that up over here as well as you can see that you can offer uh, let's say seven days of uh, free time and you can offer it only once uh, per user so 
over here just need to price name the price uh, as a, it's style so it's going to be zero dollar you can uh, lower the price as well but in my case i will not be offering any trial so just uh, leave that as it is and over here you just need to uh, provide the subscription period uh, if the period is unlimited like uh, if the user don't cancel it you want to charge it every month until they cancel it so you need to select unlimited billing cycle but if you have a limited uh, billing cycle let's say uh, after six months uh, the subscription expires so you need to click that and over here you, you need to name or tell the price of the product so in my case let's say ten dollars and I want to charge uh, every month and once every month so it will be once per month and if you want to go with yearly plan you can choose it and you can uh, name it over here as well but in my case I would like to go with months and it's unlimited cycles and over here you can see that there is an option of calculate the tax for the subscription plan and if you want to calculate the tax you need to click on that and include tax and pricing or you can add tax to price but in my case i would not be charging uh, calculating any tax and over here uh, you can see that here is an option of that how many missed cycles before the subscription is paused so if a user missed uh, one uh, cycle of paying the subscription fees uh, the subscription will be paused and if you want to uh, keep it like two then you can do it right here but in my case I would like to go with one so turn on auto billing of outstanding payments so you can you need to turn that on and after that just click next and over here you can see that here is the all the review and save your plan uh, that you need to review that you have just set up here is the product name product id is here that we were talking about that they will uh, automatically generate it for you and here is the plan name trial one and plan type is fixed pricing and here is the set of fees and pricing is uh, ten dollars and after that you can just click on fair drop or you can click turn plan on and after that we will provide you a code that you need to enter into your uh, website if it is a wordpress website you just need to add over there and if it is a coding website you need to manually adjust that so i hope this video was helpful and if it is please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much